This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi friends! If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. For today's video, I am so excited, you guys. I made so many fun custom orders. So they're entirely new plushies that you've never seen me make before. So I am taking you through that process and I'm gonna show you all of them. I also worked on a super cute new turtle pattern. So I'll be showing you guys that. And then of course, we'll be doing some crocheting. We'll be doing some chit chatting. It'll be a great time. So with that, let's get into today's video. Guess what I'm making, guys? Another dragon. <laughs> Another day, another dragon. Are we surprised? No. I still have my purple dragon up there. I need to finish her. But a customer reached out and she wanted a light pink dragon with white wings and a bow for a tail. And I was like, okay, I have to accept this order. So I am getting the body done right now. Hopefully I can wrap this up this weekend. Today is Friday. I get a lot of questions asking how long it usually takes me. Surprisingly, with big plushies, you would think it takes a long time, but it doesn't really just because something's big doesn't mean it will take a super long time this pattern was actually written for acrylic yarn and it was supposed to be like super tiny to get my dragons as big as i get them i use a size nine millimeter hook and size seven yarn so this is specifically premier parfait xl but any size seven yarn could do the same thing you know like sweet snuggles chenille home etc but i'd say from like start to finish maybe these dragons take me two days i highly recommend it it is such a fun project don't be intimidated by the size of the project you guys can totally Totally make this dragon. This is your sign to make a dragon. Oh, and in terms of materials, you'll need two skeins of the main body color and then one skein for the accent colors like the spikes, the wing, the tail end, etc. Callie! Callie's right there. Hi, baby! Hi, Callie! Hello, hello friends. I feel like I have been a chicken running around with my head off because it has been a crazy week. My husband and I are probably going to be moving next month in March. So we are trying to coordinate getting our house listed for sale, just like prepping for the move, coordinating work schedules, all that fun stuff. So I'm coming on because I actually was sent a new thermal label printer. And if you guys didn't see my other video, I was sent another label printer from this company. It's called Moonbin. They have awesome thermal label printers. A lot of them are Bluetooth and also super cute. Like the last one they sent me was pink. I actually ended up giving that printer away to my friend who is also starting his own crochet business because I thought, you know, hey, I already have a label printer, so why not give this extra one to him? So here is the new label printer I was sent by Moonbin. It is the thermal label printer, and I believe this is the Bluetooth one. So let's unbox her and get her set up together. It's also February, but I'm wearing like my short sleeve t-shirt because it feels like spring outside and I am loving it. Groundhog Day did happen and he did see his shadow. So early spring, everybody. Ooh, she's pretty. She's very sleek and modern. Moonbin also sent me some labels for the printer. Okay, I took it out of the packaging. Like, look at that holographic. Look at that. Look at that shine. And if you guys didn't know, Moonbin has an app for their printer. So you can design whatever you want to go onto your labels. So if you have like a logo, if you want to just say something random on the labels, you can, you can make it with the app. So that's cool. I'll show you guys how it works. Okay, we're switching angles because I am sitting on my floor. But this is the app if you guys didn't know about Moonbin bin so look at all the cool designs you can make i think i am going to do a little test run so this is like one of the pre-made designs and it's for the holographic sticker that i have and it's a cute little valentine's day sticker so let's try this design okay there we go perfect and then let's see it in action i'm going to hit print it's print four or five. Okay, print. <gasps> Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, I just printed out these designs too, just regular thank yous. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed, guys. Like that 
is so pretty. I love the holographic. Like, it's so cool. Thank you so much, Moonbin. Good morning, friends. I finished the dragon, and oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite dragon that I've made yet. Oh, I'm running out of breath. I'm just so excited. I originally thought it was going to be like a Valentine's Day vibes, but she's giving me cherry blossom vibes. Let me show you her. Here she is! So her color scheme is white and light pink and at the bottom is this really adorable bow that the customer wanted me to have on the tail instead of a regular dragon tail. And yeah, look at her! I am just so in love with like her wings, everything. The white and pink really is such a cute color combination. I always love how majestic the dragons look, like wee -oo. Oh, it's just so cool. So she is going home to her forever home. I am going to package her up, hug check. <laughs> so cute, guys. This is dragon number three that I've made this year so far. I put her up there on my other dragon that I really need to finish so I can get done dragon number four. I also came on because look what I'm making. I am making a football. So I've been commissioned by a brand to come up with like a fake game day commercial. So I had to make a few different crochet props for it. One being a football and yeah, it's turning out cute. I am not a sports girly. Like I do not know anything about football, but I do know that this looks pretty realistic and it is super cute. I also need to crochet some money and a car and a microphone and a soda can. So it's definitely a good mix of completely random items. I can't wait for you guys to see the finished commercial though because I think it'll be really fun to make and it'll feature a lot of cool crochet items. Oh, and this reminds me, I actually just got some new labels in the mail. Well, I guess they're not labels, they're like those leather tags that you can tag your product. And my husband actually got them for me for Christmas so I never showed you guys, but here they are. I love this style just because you can fold it and then clasp it onto your plushie like this. And yeah, look at it. It is so cute. I love the little heart yarn with the hook and it says crochet by Jenna. And I thought this style is perfect because I can just clasp it onto the end of my plushie, like the end of a turtle fin. So it'll be very like minimal, but it will brand my plushie so people know it's crochet by Jenna. And I did use other labels in the past, but they were just like the rectangular ones. They weren't like the foldable ones like this. So I'm excited to test these out. I believe my husband got these off of Etsy, so I will link the store down in the description box in case you guys wanna get your very own labels. The next project that I'm working on today is this really cute dinosaur. Dinosaur. So fun fact about this dinosaur, I used to be obsessed with this pattern. It is by Blue Phone Studio. I will link it down below in case you guys want to make your very own striped T-Rex. But yeah, I was obsessed with making it. I probably made so many of these dinosaurs like a year ago, but I only made them out of acrylic yarn. So this dinosaur is actually the first ever dinosaur that I've made out of chenille yarn with this pattern. And it is coming out massive. Like he is big so far. And I size down for this. I only use the size four millimeter hook and it's coming out this big already. So I'm excited to show you guys the end result. This is actually a really special order that I'm doing for a customer. I believe she said her sister is finishing her last round of chemo. So she plans on giving her this dinosaur when she's done. And I'm also gonna crochet the breast cancer pink ribbon and have the dinosaur holding it. So yeah, it's a really special order and I'm so happy that I'm able to make such a special item for someone. Like I love making custom orders just for this reason. Like you get to be part of something so special. Okay guys, I finished the football and I love how it turned out. Oh my gosh, I literally just fumbled the football. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to be funny. I don't watch sports. <laughs> but okay, here is the football. Isn't it so cool? I actually really loved how it turned out. I feel like I could just throw it. I feel like I will be keeping this even though I don't watch football. I think it'll be a great prop in the future, you know? Maybe I'll get into football. Maybe I'll throw a Super Bowl party. This is super cute. I freehanded this so there is no pattern but I feel like there's a ton of free football crochet patterns if you are looking to make something similar. And then oh my gosh, I have to show you guys the rest of the props that I made yesterday. 
you're gonna get a kick out of it. Haha, <laughs> kick. The next prop that I made is this microphone! <laughs> I literally put on my Instagram story, I'm like, should I use this microphone for all of my YouTube videos in the future? I think yes. Like, it just it just feels so cool to be speaking into a fake microphone. And I love how it turned out. Like, it's giving me, it's giving me microphone vibes. And I freehanded this one as well. So unfortunately, I don't have a pattern. But again, I feel like there are a bunch of patterns out there if you do want to make a crochet microphone. Like, how fun is this? This is just so fun. I love this. Like, I know the microphone doesn't work, but I feel like it does work. Okay, let me show you the next two props I made. Okay, so I also made this fake Coke bottle. And you're probably wondering, like, wow, what does this fake commercial entail? I'm telling you guys, it is a whole production. So I'm excited to use all of these props. It was super fun making these. And yeah, Coca-Cola bottle, super fun. I feel like this would be a cute dog toy if, you know, crochet wasn't so fragile and could be destroyed right away. For this one, I actually did follow a pattern. Fun fact, I think about a year ago, I got a custom order for a water bottle. Yes, a water bottle. And I went and looked up a pattern for it. And this was one of the pattern packs that I got. I think it was a Coke, a water bottle, and like a Fanta orange soda. So I will link the pattern down below for you guys. Okay, and the last prop that I made is this bag of money. I gotta put my microphone down to show you guys, but I basically cut out this like money sign out of felt and I did it freehand, so don't don't judge the lack of perfection with the money sign. And I also didn't have green felt, so we are using a blue felt. Ah, but yeah, I am going to like hot glue it onto this money bag. For all of my Animal Crossing lovers out there, this reminds me of a bell bag. I will insert a picture here. Maybe I won't hot glue this money sign on so I can repurpose this bag as a bell bag because I did always want to make a bell bag. And I did go ahead and freehand this, but if you are interested in making a bell bag, there are tons of free patterns for it. So definitely just go to Google or Instagram because I've seen that pattern so many times. Okay. Okay, so that is all the props that I've made so far for my fake commercial. I just have one more thing to make. I'll keep it a secret though. I don't want to spoil the surprise. But yeah, that is what I've been up to. I also want to show you guys, I got this super awesome new tripod. It is definitely not your conventional tripod, but I'm going to show you anyway because I think it'll be a game changer for me. Haha, <laughs> game changer. <laughs> all these sport puns, I cannot. Okay, so this is the tripod and I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably like, Jenna, like what? is that but basically it goes around your neck so you can remain hands-free so the biggest thing that I struggle with when filming my crochet content is like I need both of my hands you know so I can't have a camera also filming so I always have to use like my overhead tripod or I'll have to ask my husband to come help me either take pictures or film if I want to take pictures of like my large plushies and I have to use both hands I always need the help of somebody else but now with this neck tripod I will be able to to do that all myself and I know a lot of people like the like crochet with me reels where I will do a crochet project like start to finish on like a reel so this will definitely make it easier to film that as well oh my gosh I look crazy but basically like you put it around your neck like this and then this little gadget here is where your phone will sit and it's MagSafe. So let me show you guys. I also have like a MagSafe pop wallet which is really, really handy because then I can switch out accessories. But yeah, say so I want to film, there you go. And yeah, so now if I want to like crochet, this phone will have everything filming for me, hands free. If I want to take a picture of like a large plushie, I'll just be like bang and yeah hands free and then when you're done all you have to do is take your phone off i think the number one pet peeve of mine when using a tripod is just like the annoying like opening and closing of the tripod like i just cannot deal with that it just makes me not want to use it 
So the fact that it's MagSafe and this is MagSafe, I'm like, yes, take my money. I need this. Definitely check out my Instagram. I will probably be posting a lot more like crochet with me reels. So I actually got this off a of TikTok shop. I am guilty, you guys. I told myself I would not buy from TikTok shop, but I did. I was sold on this. So I will try to find a link for you guys besides TikTok shop. I might not be able to though. So if anything, I will link the TikTok shop link for you if you're interested in buying but hopefully i can find like a dupe or somewhere else that you can buy it just wanted to take a quick break from the video to talk about today's sponsor squarespace if you didn't already know squarespace is the all-in-one website platform that allows you to build beautiful professional websites engage with your audience and sell anything online successfully one of my favorite features about squarespace is the ability to have an online store you can sell both digital and physical products and that's perfect for us crocheters since we have both physical plushies and digital patterns i also love that squarespace has thousands of professional templates for you to choose from and that they have a drag and drop website editor so you do not need any code to get your website looking exactly how you want it and lastly if you sell a lot in person or at markets you can get a square reader and that will allow you to sync your in-person sales with your online inventory head to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash crochet by jenna to receive 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain thank you so much squarespace for sponsoring another video and with that let's get back into it. Hello guys, so I'm coming back on because I finished the last prop that I've been making for my fake commercial and let me show you guys. Here it is. It is this little baby car. Okay, how cute is this little car? Like, I love it. I wish I had a son so I could give him this car. It's just so cute. So this is the last prop. So I am finally ready to film this commercial. I plan on filming it this weekend so I can really like get in the zone and give it my best shot. But I'll definitely be posting the final version of the commercial. So definitely check out my Instagram. And then by the way, this car is not free handed. I did use a pattern for it. So I will of course link the pattern down below if you guys want to make one of these super cute little cars. Hello friends, I finished this special dino and I am so excited to show you how it turned out. I love it. Also, do you like my background? I decided to hang it here so it'll be in all of my videos instead of like on the wall where no one can see it but me. So here's the dino, oh my gosh. So here is the little breast cancer ribbon that the dino is holding in its arms, super cute. And then here is the dino. <gasps> I am so in love with how this dino turned out. So like I mentioned earlier, I never made this pattern out of chenille yarn. I only made it out of acrylic. And I used the size 4 hook, and I really love the size. Like, it is a great size. And it's just holding the little ribbon. It is so adorable, you guys. I am so excited to send this off to my customer. I also just wanted to show it standing up. It stands up on its own, and I love that the tail kind of, like, leans it back a little. And yeah, I just think it's adorable that it's holding the little breast cancer ribbon. I am so excited to send it off, but yeah, it is like massive, you guys. Like, look at the height to it. It is, it is pretty big. And then we have some other plushies just hanging out on the shelves. Guys, I am so excited. I am like jumping out of my seat right now. So I just completed two commissioned orders that I received. And these two orders are pretty different from what I usually receive just because I had to physically create a pattern for them. And they're both based off of drawings that people sent me. So no pressure. It was actually really fun though. I was able to accept these customs because I knew that I would be able to design a pattern. The shapes were pretty simple and I kind of thought through, I'm like, okay, I can do it but let me show you guys so the first custom that i finished it is for the two bunnies one pink and one blue with overalls and a dress so the blue one is still a work in progress i am making the overalls as we speak but i did finish the pink one and her little dress is so cute but okay before i show you guys the plushie let me show you the drawing that it was based off of okay so here's the drawing that it is going to be based off of and here's the plushie <gasps> guys how adorable is this bunny you guys like how how cute is she literally look at her little dress 
it is so so cute her little red sundress it was so interesting for me to make this dress because clothing is so difficult for me like it is a challenge for me to make any clothing when I have the pattern for it so for this dress I had to create the pattern myself and I had to make it fit the same exact style so it was a really fun challenge and I actually split it into two parts so like this top part with the two straps was one piece and then I made the bottom piece separate and sewed it all together but the beauty of crochet is you cannot see where I sewed it together. So yeah, I'm super happy with how she turned out. I also love how her arms are up and how the one ear is folded. So adorable. So this bunny pattern, I designed it to match exactly what the drawing looked like. And I can't remember whether or not I filmed the blue one, but let me show you guys what it looks like so far. So here's the blue one. So the blue one is exactly the same as the pink one in terms of the body. I just need to make the overalls. And yeah, I gotta go back to the drawing board because I need to see how I can design overalls and make it work. But so cute. Okay, and now for the second commission. This is also based off a drawing, so let me show you guys the drawing. So a mom reached out to me, and her daughter loves drawing this same character over and over, and I believe it's a character that, like, her daughter came up with. So here is the sketch that I was given. It's super cute. It kind of reminds me of an axolotl with these, like, ears on the side. But yeah, it's kind of like a fire theme. That's what, like, the centerpiece is, the fire. So let me show you guys the finished plushie. Here it is! So I was able to just just felt the eyes and the mouth to make it really look like how the drawing had and then the ears slash gills turned out really cute I basically just used my heart pattern for this and just stopped and yeah it turned out perfect in terms of shape and then the little fire emblem I did warn the mom I was like I don't know how specific I could get it and she said it's fine like just make a little outline so that's what I did and then I just followed the same color scheme that the drawing had so red legs orange middle yellow on top and then the two little arms how cute is it like i know i already told you guys how much i love making customs but like the fact that i was able to bring someone's drawing to life it is just so cool like now my customer's daughter can just hug this and snuggle with it and have their drawing in plushy form like how cool is that so i can't wait to ship this one off super special okay guys i finished the overalls i want to show you also do not mind the hair at the moment i like took a shower and it's still air drying so she's looking a little crazy right now but okay i'm just gonna bring up the reference picture as a reminder so this is what i was commissioned to make cute little bunny and overalls and here's how it turned out <gasps> so cute look at the royal blue overalls so adorable you guys i really love how this bunny turned out my customer said she is going to felt on the star so i don't have to worry about it but yeah the bunny is officially done i love it let me go grab the pink version because now we're officially done with this order. So here is the pink and here's the blue. They are done, woohoo! Super cute. And if you're wondering, yes, they do not have faces. This is on purpose. It's just their character. They're just cute, faceless little bunnies. Hello friends, happy Friday. I have been a very busy bee lately and I just came up with my newest turtle pattern and ah, this is literally probably my favorite turtle pattern to date. So that's saying a lot. I've had a lot of turtle patterns and this one is definitely my favorite. Oh yeah, editing Jenna, please insert this clip. So basically here is the sketch I made of the macaroon turtle. This is what I envisioned and I am so happy with how it turned out. It really lines up exactly how I envisioned and that is just like so satisfying. I am so excited to show you guys. Here it is! It is a macaroon turtle! <gasps> How cute is she? I just want to eat her. Like, I just want to keep squishing her and eat her. <laughs> she is so, so cute. Of course, I went with like the two-toned pink look. It's my signature, but I am so in love with how she turned out. I love the little ruffle on the edge of the macaroon. I just think it makes it so cute. And of course, I used Parfait Chunky Yarn, a size five hook, and this is what she came out to look like. I think it's the perfect little size for a regular turtle. Like, I was talking to my patrons about this. They saw this turtle design first, and they actually voted on it 
way back and I'm finally getting around to making her. Also, wait, pause. How adorable does she look when I'm doing the hug check? Like, ah, it's so cute. But anyway, so my patrons saw this first and they were like going crazy. And I was like, okay, I know I need to make this pattern ASAP. And then I also came out with a miniature version. Okay, and here's the mini. Like what? Who do you like better, the miniature version? Or the regular, like I, I literally can't pick. I can't pick. I think my patrons are leaning more towards the mini and like, it's just so cute. Again, I just wanna eat her. I love the macaroon look and I made it in pink, but I feel like I need to make like the entire rainbow and line them all up. I think it would be adorable. I cannot, you guys. Like I am literally like jumping with excitement. Like look at them. I love it. So this pattern will actually be given to my patrons for free. I am super early. It's currently February 2nd, but this pattern will come out March 1st for my patrons for free. For everybody else, this pattern will be released on my Etsy on Galentine's Day, so February 13th. And I am so excited, you guys. Like, I cannot wait to see all of your macaroon turtles. But leave in the comments, which one is your favorite? Do you like mini or do you like regular more? I, I can't decide. I can't, I can't decide. Good morning, friends. I'm coming on because I am in the middle of packing orders and someone adopted the mini macaron turtle. And side note, I was told that macaroon is actually like that coconut pastry, insert a picture here, and a macaron is the French pastry, which I just made into turtle form. So apologies for mispronouncing it. I am the queen of mispronunciation, so. Just bear with me. But anyway, the baby macaron turtle got adopted and she is going home to Ashley. She's so cute and small. Thank you so much, Ashley, for adopting her. And thank you so much for watching my channel. You are the best. I hear that you're crocheting and I just want to say keep up the great work. And I'm just so excited for you to be on this crochet journey. But all right, I think we're gonna call the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some inspiration and I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Happy crocheting, everybody. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.